Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, thank you for joining me again. Um, for those who's coming back and those who are new, thanks for um, you know clicking on the video and having a look. So as the title uh, of the video says that today I'll be installing uh, the split charge relay. Uh, and essentially uh, what this little system does is that um, it just uh, charges up the house batteries or the leisure batteries um, from uh, your van battery. Um, from the alternator but through the battery um, when the van is uh, up and running so it's a small little thing that I'm going to do um, so let me show you what I got with the kit so it is a kit that I got I didn't get like the individual wires and stuff it's an entire set um, so um, yeah let me open up the pack and show you uh, what's in there okay guys so let me just lay down everything that I got in the kit so we got the uh, the actual split charge relay unit in there. We've got the wiring. We've got the fuse block. And we've got some nuts and bolts, some sticky things over there. And then we've got the little, uh, little fuse you can see here, the metal blade, metal blade fuse, and then some screws here. So I'm gonna open it up. So a part of this kit, you get basically everything that you need to set the system up. So uh, I'm going to pop up an image right now on the on the screen, um, which will show you how I'm going to do it. Uh, so if I just open up this box, here's the split charge relay unit. Okay, with some instructions inside. Uh, not it's not a wiring diagram, but it's just some instructions. Uh, if I take the wires up from here. We've got a couple of smaller ones, which is fine. Uh, so you can see with all these wires, they're pre-cut, um, not to your own specifications, but they just do it based on uh, what they what they have in their little set that they offer. So you can see it's got all the connections, it's got the um, heat shrink, and you know it's, it's quite thick wire, uh, which is what you would expect. So you get um, two positive wires with the smaller ones you get the long one which uh i oh know you get one more short one here you go you get the this long one which is going to be um from one of the fuse blocks which comes back inside the van not back inside but from the fuse block that goes uh into the van to the leisure battery so obviously that needs to be long because that will run from the front of the van to wherever your batteries are and I think that's going to be enough for me because mine's a, a Ford Connect um, short wheelbase, so it's not a lot of not a lot of distance, I reckon. Uh, and then you got the negative. The diagram all explains um, how I'm going to wire this up. So it's starting to rain again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get the inside parts of this uh, little thing done, and then I can. Um, get outside tomorrow when it's sunny and just finish finish it off and just show you guys how it's going uh yeah i just thought i'd provide a little bit of an update on this uh, little unit that i fixed so yeah no drops of water it's been raining um for the whole day today and for the last couple of days on and off it's been raining so it would have been a good chance to see if there's any leakage so there's no leakages around here nothing dripping nothing on the table is in fact it's raining right now and and there's nothing coming in and um, also uh, from the mushroom part up top there's nothing coming in either here so it's working good it's quite surprised it had such a bright light there but that's cool um so yeah that that's good um i know with with these fans if you if you tweak with the circuit board a bit you can add a little um a little thing where you can actually increase the speed so I think that's what I'll do. Um, I'll just research how to do that. And then I might just do some wiring and just add something here or add something there. Or if I can pull it up here, um, you know, maybe, maybe, what should I say? If I can add a little control unit just over there to increase the speed or decrease the speed. And also uh, reverse the direction of the fan. So right now it pulls air in and out. But what I want is maybe times where like, I just want air to come in. If it's like a hole, uh, you know, if it's if it's quite warm in here and I want some cool air to come in, it would be cool if I could just switch that direction. So again, I'll do some research and I'll probably do that at a later stage. Um, but soon, hopefully. 
so yeah let's let's get on with this and then um yeah there's plenty of videos on youtube so i'm not gonna show the step-by-step -step process but i'll just show you as i'm going along uh the small little things that i complete all right guys step one done um just to show you uh that's the top connection is from your positive start battery which is your um van battery and uh, this part is where it's supposed to go to your leisure battery so i've connected this wire up it's now going to go to one of these uh fuses and from the fuse it will then go to the battery so let's do that okay so next part done uh my 60 amp little blade fuse if that's what they're called uh, attached uh, this is the wire coming in from the smart battery isolator comes in same positive goes out and this has to go to my uh, house battery now i can connect it via these uh, little battery connectors but i think i won't need to uh, because it's already got the correct type of uh, connections and stuff on the battery but uh, anyway we'll close this one up now so let's just close that up nice and safe and uh, let's carry on with the next step okay so next part done uh, my 60 amp little blade fuse if that's what they're called uh, attached uh, this is the wire coming in from the smart battery isolator comes in same positive goes out and this has to go to my uh, house battery now i can connect it via these uh, little battery connectors but i think i won't need to uh, because it's already got the correct type of uh, connections and stuff on the battery but uh, anyway we'll close this one up now so let's just close that up nice and safe and uh, let's carry on with the next step all right guys it's the next day uh, beautiful weather so just an update so uh, what i've done is um, i've eventually put in the smart battery isolator just over here uh i've got this wire coming out goes to the back into a fuse out the fuse there under this button and into the positive of the battery and then i've got the negative that comes out and goes to an earthing point this wire is a bit short so you can see that things are a bit weird so anyway that's that and then i've got the other end of the positive from the isolator coming out and basically I'm going to feed that probably somewhere down there or wherever and then that will eventually make its way all the way to the car car I mean the van battery so it was a bit of a struggle um, to fit that in uh, not hard work in terms of its uh, complexity but just because of the space is quite uh, narrow and there's not much working room and the um, uh, the earth wire is quite short um, so I couldn't put the battery where I want to but anyway everything seems to be all right so what I'm going to do is um, feed the wire through I'm, I'm going to need to find a place where I can pass the wire uh, into the engine compartment uh, from inside the van probably on the passenger side there might be some kind of um, uh, area I can do that uh, so again yeah I'm not going to show you how I do that because you've probably seen it a million times but I'll just show you uh, a bit of the end product and a quick walkthrough of everything and stuff all right guys after a f almost a full day and a proper mission it's all done done and dusted fitted and the van is running now as you might be able to hear and as you can see there potentially uh, yeah the light is on so that means it's sending power to the leisure battery and just to explain what i've done a very quick overview so here's the isolator the smart battery um isolator um so it comes out of here into a fuse out of the fuse and into the battery then it comes out of here on the side of the bed runs, be runs behind this uh, metal pillar at the back behind the seat and let me take you to the door side passenger seat so you can see it just comes out here it goes behind this i took all this out shoved it behind here runs all the way here nicely i'm gonna put that back in properly uh behind there up 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 and here you go it comes out of here 
just behind this A pillar. There's a little gap over there that I shoved it through. Alright guys, so it comes through this A pillar up here. Actually, you can just see the wire there potentially. Let me see. Uh, there's somewhere you might not be able to see, it, but it comes through here. Follow it through. Um, it goes behind this. All the way through, you can come here. Another fuse straight into the battery. So, yeah, guys, that's how it is. Yeah, guys, so that's how it goes into the back of the bed. But I was saying, yeah, that's pretty much um, it. Um, it was a proper mission. I thought it'd be more uh, easier, but it was actually quite difficult. Um, but yeah, it's all done. And just to show you guys the voltage a meter reading, the voltmeter. So I've just got both. I'm not sure if you can see it. It's 13.8, so I'm looking at the switch panel over here. If I turn it off, you can see it drops down to 13. So clearly there is, and then if I 12.9, 12.8, 5, 7 Yeah, and the one up top is running 12.6 So pretty much the same And then turn the van on And give it a second And then it will shoot back up There you go, you can see it going Van off Give it a second then it will read it so so if we look at this battery um, it says here that the green is charged and the black means charging uh, is necessary so if, I, if we have a look at this um, it used to be green but you can see it's clear or black um, so definitely it does need a charge so I guess this will be a good indication if this thing works let's see how it goes uh, when I'm out on my adventures I'll let you know if this thing really works thank you so much and um yeah i hope you guys will continue to follow me subscribe like all that good stuff um so yeah thank you so much and see you next time